In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Daily Opening Prayer You are all beautiful, Mary, and the original stain is not in you. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You give honor to our people. You are the advocate of sinners. O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most merciful, pray for us, intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant we pray that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Day 9. For the coming of the kingdom of the most sacred heart. A reading from the writings of St. Maximilian Kolbe. The most sacred heart of Jesus is the love of God toward mankind. His kingdom is the domain of this love in the hearts of men. The love that Jesus manifested in the manger, throughout his life, on the cross, in the Eucharist, and in giving us his own mother as our mother. And he wants to kindle this love in the hearts of men, to infuse and to enhance the glory of the Immaculata, to, con to conquer souls over to her, means to win souls over to the mother of Jesus, who introduces the kingdom of Jesus into them. We must constantly strengthen the love for the Immaculata in souls, so that they may become one with her, become her herself, so that she herself may live and love in them and through them, just as she is of Jesus, and of God, so each soul will become of Jesus and of God through her and in her. Then souls will love the most sacred heart of Jesus as they have never loved him before, because like her, and in ways that they have never experienced before, they will plunge into the mysteries of love, the cross and the Eucharist. Through her, God's love shall kindle the world set it on fire. Prayer Intention For Our Lady's intentions from my life, my dear ones, the Church, my country, and the whole world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Mary, concede without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. And for all those who do not have recourse to you, especially the enemies of Holy Church, and all those recommended to you. Grace for the day. Dedication to the building up of the kingdom of the most sacred heart of Jesus by promoting consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Daily Closing Prayer from St. John Paul II Immaculate Virgin, your spotless spiritual beauty is for us a living source of confidence and hope. To have you as Mother, Holy Virgin, reassures us on the path of life as a pledge of eternal salvation. Because of this, O Mary, we have recourse to you with confidence. 
Help us to build a world where human life is always cherished and defended. Every form of violence banished. The peace of all tenaciously sought. Immaculate Virgin, grant that we may celebrate and adore with renewed faith and ardent love. The holy mystery of the body and blood of Christ. At your school, O woman of the Eucharist, teach us to remember the marvels that God never ceases to work in human hearts. With motherly tenderness, Virgin Mary, guide our steps always on the path of good. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.